Hello and welcome back to Spirit Mom. Today at Spirit School, we're going to discuss the matrix and what this means for us. There's been a lot of talk and rumors about us living in a matrix, obviously, especially since the movie, The Matrix, but it's a known thing even before that. The matrix didn't make it up. The matrix actually means mother when translated. The matrix is our womb. The matrix is our birthing house. If you're learning spiritual things, you've probably heard the term earth school, as this is often called. Well, our matrix mother is the womb in which we are going to this earth school as we grow into the spiritual beings we are meant to become. Because there's a lot of things out there trying to say that, and I'm not saying they're wrong, but it's all perspective. It's all in the way you look at it. There's things saying the moon is a projector keeping in this, in this 3D hologram and all the other planets around us are in a different dimension. And if we could just get out of that, we'd be free. That we're stuck in this matrix so the lizard people can eat us. We're stuck in this matrix so other things can suck our souls. We're stuck in this matrix because the cabal, the Illuminati want to keep us in here. We're stuck in the matrix because, insert conspiracy theory. Now, guess what? I bet a lot of them are actually true because in everything in life, it's complex and a lot of things play at the same time. One thing could be happening as another thing's happening, just like think sports. Well, one person's getting ready to shoot the ball, other people are, I'm not a sports person, but they're you know getting ready over here and they're all doing their own thing in the game. It's the same thing here. Chess is a better analogy as you line up all your different players on the thing. We are all different players of the same one, the same all. So all these different things playing out in this matrix is ultimately what the all wants. One thing that is hard to grasp and this is what turns a lot of people atheist is if God was real, he wouldn't let these horrible things happen to me. If God is as all powerful and magical as you can possibly get your mind to accept, then yes, he would, because think about it. He's the all. If there's no he, I always say he, there is no he, there is no she. It is the all. It needs its own pronoun. They are the all. It is the all. There's, I need a better word than it, they, he, she. We need to invent a more profound word or just leave out the pronoun and say the all because it is the all. So it's the bad, the good. It's the matrix. It's the 5D. It's the 4D. It's all of it. So as we sit in this matrix, in this mother, in this womb, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to do what our souls brought us here to do. Our souls have brought us on this journey for us to learn, to grow, to experience more. Because ultimately what the all wants is to experience itself. Once upon a time, it sat in a nothingness space. Allegedly, we can only postulate about such things, but it sat in a place of nothingness, with which if you've ever been an atheist, you've contemplated the nothing and it has scared you to the depths of your bone to a place that you possibly didn't even know you could go. It's like a power of its own, the nothing. The idea of being nothing can swallow you up and consume you. Well, that is actually a magical place that popped existence. And since then, the all has been wanting to experience and discover and expand. And how do we expand? We learn, we live, and we take the information we have and we grow from it. We don't wallow, we don't go, oh no, I'm trapped in a matrix. Oh my God, I guess everything's just ruined and I don't get to live my own life and I'm just a puppet for the big cabal and the Illuminati's. I don't matter at all. I just mother give up, watch TV. Who cares about life? I don't matter. They're gonna control everything I do. No, we say, okay, and now what? If you want to go discover them and fight them, go for it. If you want to decide to become conscious 
in advance anyways. So maybe there is radio signals shooting subliminal messages at us to go to sleep. Okay, so we do twice as many things to wake up. We do everything in our power to stay vigilant and awake because that is what we can do. So yes, we are in a matrix. And I've, Matthias De Stefano says that this matrix can be like a clingy mom. So the mom doesn't want to release the child because the mom wants to protect the child. So this is like our matrix holding us now. We are getting ready to birth. We are going into a new form of existence. So we are going to, we are seeing it now. If you get into spiritual stuff and spiritual practices and really start to tune into energy, look around you and you can see it. It's, it's hard to explain until you see it. But you can see the of it. Especially when you're outside and you can look at a further distance, you can see the matrix. It's hard to explain. Everything is sac sacred geometry, including the matrix. And you can see the shapes do their shape thing. And it's profound, really, to actually be like, wow, it's true. But that's okay. That's okay. Allegedly, up in the sky, there's tons of spaceships watching us. And NASA's keeping it away from us, so we don't know. Oh, well. I guess they are. What are we going to do about it? If you want to get it, maybe that's what Elon Musk is doing. If you want to get a spaceship and go see them, then go ahead. But otherwise, don't boo-hoo about it because that's not going to fix anything. What's going to fix things? Awaken anyways, because guess what? We can go places without our body, if that makes sense. Like we don't, we're not just limited to this and I don't want to poo on our flesh suits because they're great, but our energy is our energy. It's our energy to expand. It's our soul that we can bring more into our energetic field. It is our energetic field, but I mean, we can expand our energetic field. We can strengthen. That's an important one. Strengthen our energetic field. We can balance our chakras. We can unify our tree of life. All these things are within our power to do, regardless of the conspiracy theories carrying on around us. And I mentioned this before, the biggest thing I would say, and this is maybe just because that's what I care about, but the biggest thing that seems to be an actual issue is food because we need food and they've kind of poisoned it all, but we can still fix that by shopping local and shopping markets and growing our own. So there is always something we can do. Are we in a matrix? Yes. Is that matrix trying to hurt us? No. Are there things in the matrix trying to hurt us? Yes, but more keep us afraid. Not so much actual pain as fear because there is actual beings that live off fear. So what do we do about that? We grow stronger, so we don't need to be afraid. We can mature, because that's the whole point of this earth school, is to mature as a whole soul. The whole soul, not just mature human standards from baby human to old person human, because guess what? Even an old person human is an infant in the soul world. You need to live a lot longer to mature enough. So what do we do? Well, we try to embody as much of this life as possible, like as much that we have available to us in this matrix. So we don't just do our nine to five job and I'm a postman and that's my life, I'm the postman. Or I'm a mom, I'm a mom, that's all my life, I'm just a mom. No, we expand. We push out that matrix, we grow it bigger. We expand, I'm a mom, I'm a YouTube person, I'm a spiritual coach, I'm a journalist, I'm an intuitive, I'm an empath, I'm growing more and more and more. I'm a wise little smarty pants. I am an expanding, evolving human being that will grow more every day. We'll learn more every day. We'll pick something every day to improve. I go through my day, I go through my day and pick things that are bad to fix. Every time there's something that I'm like, whoa, okay, that's not cool. Then I go inside, find how that's wrong, and see how I can fix it. Is the goal perfection? Are we supposed to be 
perfect people? Am I supposed to find everything inside myself to fix? According to some religions, yes. But according to others, there is no perfect. There is no done. The goal is expansion. The goal is to expand. To expand our souls, to expand the universe, to expand everything. So will we one day break out of the matrix in this lifetime? Not completely. I doubt it. But one day. The goal for right now in this life is expansion, is learning, is taking those ancestral wounds which are really alive right now, like in our subconscious, in the collective subconscious, taking those and healing them. Now that doesn't mean cutting them off, we don't cut off the roots. They are our roots, they are part of our DNA, they are part of who we are. This even goes if you're adopted, because energetically those things cross. You cross pollinate with everybody you've been raised with especially, but are close to in general. So we just heal it. We heal it by making it better, by doing better. If one day you yelled, the next day whisper. Don't repeat bad patterns when you found them and continue to look for bad patterns. The matrix can't stop you and it doesn't want to. The matrix isn't the problem. The matrix is keeping us layered so that we don't see the five and fourth D things that are right here in us. And that I, episode I have where the, I talk about how the fifth and fourth dimensional things walk right through us. It's the matrix that makes that so we don't see them. And it's meant to be, and they probably have their own matrix of the fifth dimension, so they don't see the sixth and seventh dimension. Like, that's just the way that sacred geometry has layered the world, period. And if a higher being made it so, do we not make ant houses to collect ants? It doesn't mean they're evil or that they're the god. It's just, they're kind of a parent being to us, sure but they don't own us because once you've created life, just like if you've produced a child, once you've created life, you don't own that life and they don't own us. Even the things that tinkered with our DNA, no one owns us, nobody. And we're all one, so we're still one with that thing that made us or that thing that's eating us, we're all one, all of us, including the bad, the good, everything. We are all in this together, matrix or not, we, belong together and we're just in this all experiencing different things so there's no need to be scared there's no need to fear all you can control is this person that you are right now and what can you do about this person what can you do about you to make you better today okay so look inside people and find something there's always something to heal and fix, making this matrix better for each and every one of us every single day. Okay? So, goodbye for now. Spirit Mom.